Guys, look at that sunrise. Oh my goodness, wow. We're here, oh my god. We have made it to the spirit of Tasmania here in Melbourne, about to make the crossing over to Tassie. I just spent three days driving, guys. Holy shit, it was brutal. This trip has probably been the most stressful thing I've ever organized in my life, mostly due to COVID. Trying to get rat tests, um, trying to get like entry requirements met, um, and then everything changing last minute, my God. Traveling in our own country at the moment is just so messed up. Anyway guys, we're here. I'm excited. I'm about to start a 10 hour journey across um, to Tassie. Um, so this is the first video of my Tassie playlist guys. So stick around later on. You're going to see a ton more videos from Tasmania. Um, I'm going to be adding to the playlist slowly. But today we're going to give you a ship tour and review of the spirit of Tasmania. I'll do my best. So I have a recliner seat guys. So just for your information, I think I've got uh, seat C17 um, on deck 8. And yeah, I, I decided to go for that option just because um, a friend of mine recommended it and a couple of things I was reading suggested just to get a recliner at least. Um, I might upgrade to a cabin on the way back, we'll see. But guys, I'm so excited for this trip. The um, boarding process so far, I'm just in line waiting. So you go through quarantine, they just check if you've got any any food, any fresh fruit, vegetables, um, any kind of fish produce, um, and they just do a quick search of your car, and then you just follow the, the arrows down, there's people directing you where to go, then you get your ticket, super, super easy. I'm just waiting in line, um, and I should start boarding in just a second. Um, but I will check in with you guys once I've parked the car, and then once we get on board, and I'll show you guys around. One quick tip, um, if you are going to do the ferry crossing, um, getting into Melbourne, just plan well, well ahead. I was stressing having to drive into Melbs and just try and book your accommodation as close to St. Kilda or the station pier as you can because it'll make the morning a lot more stress-free. Um, I managed to get accommodation that was like three minutes down the road. Made this morning nice and easy uh, for the early start. Okay guys, so here you can see we are now boarding the ship. Uh, so we were waiting in line here for about 45 minutes. Uh, so make sure that you've actually been to the bathroom before you do this part. Um, there are bathrooms available in the parking bay as you're waiting to board. Um, but yeah, it was just a matter of being patient and the staff are super friendly. So if you've got any questions, just give them a yell out the window and just follow the direction. Um, it was really straightforward, super simple. And honestly, it was so much less stressful than I thought it was actually going to be. Okay guys, so breakfast was served from 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. and lunch was 12 till 3. Um, as you can see here, you can pause the video to take a look at the menu. Um, but yeah, just some basic stuff in like a kind of buffet style situation. Okay guys, so here you can see me entering into the recliner lounge. These seats cost $39 each, each way, and to be honest, I don't think it's something you really need if you're doing the day sale. Um, there were a lot of people ended up being in here uh, later on and I was freaking out about getting COVID. So I actually just ended up sitting out there in that kind of lounge area where you can see there's so much space to spread out on the ship guys. So I don't think it's a necessity if you're doing the day sale. Right, sunny day guys, and smooth sailing conditions, lovely. Okay guys, so here you can see we're entering into the tourism hub and this is a spot you're going to want to visit to get your national parks pass if you haven't already done so. A two month pass costs 80 bucks and that gets you into every national park in Tasmania. 
And as we walk over to this side here is the TMK restaurant. So this is like the buffet style restaurant and seating area. Um, food's quite expensive, so I'd recommend maybe packing a bit of your own and also getting a couple of snacks as well. Okay guys, so here we are on deck nine, about to enter the terrace lounge and bar. Uh, it's a nice little seating area. Unfortunately, the bar and kiosk was closed. Um, this also has a view out over the stern of the ship. So if you're wanting to get a couple of videos and photos out over the back of the ship, this is the place to do so. Sorry, it's a little bit dark in there. Um, but yeah, really nice spot to kind of chill, get some fresh air as well. So just as I sat down for my coffee, uh, the crew had announced that we were about to pass Spirit of Tasmania number one. So this ship was traveling from Devonport into Melbourne. So that was pretty cool to see. I do apologize for how shaky this footage is because uh, it was a bit wild and windy out there and my zoom lens was about as far zoomed in as it could get. Well guys, there you have it. We have arrived into Devonport in Tasmania. It was a 10 hour ship trip <laughs> aboard Spirit of Tassie there, just behind me. I've just jumped off the ferry, um, headed over to Coles to grab some groceries and begin our trip here in Tassie. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And of course, hit that notification button down below. That will notify you every time I release a brand new video. And of course, subscribe for future content. Guys, there might be a video popping up on screen right now that you can watch next. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.